It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday Night Special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. Well, I must say, um, the weather, <laughs> the weather out here is soul crushing. Uh, today, Saturday the 31st, it's 106, which makes this uh, an easy bake oven and then some, you know. Uh, so a combination of hot, oppressive weather and smoke is made uh, made for some tough, tough rock hounding. So um, I've been trying to focus on doing some underground exploration. And well, you saw a little bit of that previous in the week and uh, where we went out to a lead zinc mine. We got, well, we did some exploration. We got some anchorite here, which is beautiful. I'll throw some uh, photos in, microscope of photos. Well, you know, the thing is, okay, um, with uh, the underground mine exploration, I'm, I'm learning a lot, okay? Uh, the filming underground is very difficult, you know? Um, first off, I'm only really picking uh, mines that I would consider safe, at least for the time being, because, well, you know, there's a lot of mines to pick from in the area. I mean, I could easily drive to over 2,000 mines um, and go explore them. Uh, the thing is, though, you know, it's wet, it's dark, I'm trying to film uh, audio problems, light reflection problems. You're in a small, confined space. Um, there's a lot of things uh, to factor in there, you know. Um, but I'm going to get better. It's a learning curve. Bear with me. It's going to be awesome, okay? In the coming couple of months, there's going to be some more mine exploration, some underground rock hounding, and it's going to be rad. It's going to be rad, and uh, we're going to take it from there, you know? Um, made some uh, picture Jasper cabs this past week, these two. Now, you know, um, I'm a little... Uh, <laughs> I, I, there's a couple of reasons why I haven't done a whole ton of uh, lapidary work on the channel lately. Other than it being super, super hot, I got to admit, some of the lap, lapidary people, not everybody, a small vocal number of people are straight up mean. <laughs> you know, like, they're just so concerned with what other people do, you know? Like, if you're... Don't, you shouldn't be concerned with what other people choose to do with their rocks. Why don't you go, you go be concerned with yourself, you know? Like, that's the, the way to live life is uh, focus on the self, you know? That's always the best course of action. Um, you know, I, I'm open to uh, learning and constructive criticism, but man, when somebody just says that what you're doing sucks, it starts to get old, right? <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, thankfully, those people, uh, they don't stick around long, you know. Um, this, uh, we, you know, we went out to the Lily Pad location. Lily Pad Thunder Eggs. Boom. These guys. I got some of that. Pretty stuff, you know. Um, and there's more of it here. Well, uh I got these, uh, these cool clusters. These clusters need to get cut, right? Well, um, when I went out there, um, I had the pleasure of finally getting to meet Jeremiah, Mr. Ragnar Rocks. And while Mr. Ragnar, <laughs> he, sent, he sent me a fanny pack. Um, and full, uh, full disclosure here, um, the last fanny pack that I think I had, hip pack, whatever you want to call it, it's got to be the. It's got to be as a kid in the '90s, uh, getting getting one of these. And while I could tell when he sent this that there is something in it, is it in this pocket? No, he he knows me. Okay, um, he sent a couple of very special, very special pieces of basalt. All right. Now I have a strong feeling that there's going to be some interesting crystallization on these. I can just barely see it in some of the pockets here on this. So, we have to take this to the microscope. I'm not gonna, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna, after filming this, I'm gonna take these over to the microscope 
and see if I can find anything cool on them. And uh, those photos, if uh, there is anything cool, will be right here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's always awesome to get something fun, fun like that. He's got a... Uh, He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He's cool. Very, very uh, kind. Has a good YouTube channel. And, uh, I mean, come on. A neon green uh, fanny pack? Like, that's rad. That's rad. Well. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, the 14th of August, right? We're going to have that tailgate sale out at the Spokane Rock Rollers. Should be a great event. If you're around, come on out. I'm going to link down below, right? There's a, a Facebook event page going. I know not everybody's on Facebook, but if you are, it's super helpful to RSVP it. Spread the word around. I'll drop a link up here to um, a short video I did talking about it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great event, you know? Um, this coming week... We're doing a little bit more mine exploration. Um, and I thought I'd show you a couple of these pieces because and maybe people could guess. Guess at what some of this stuff is, all right? I think it's good. What do you think that is? Right there. Boom. Check that out. Got something pretty. Something pretty. What a little bit of color. A little bit of color? Yeah. No, I mean, I enjoy it. Um... You know, it's a, a, an aspect of rock hounding that I don't think many people really get into. And that's a shame because I think, you know, I'm not saying going underground, but there's a lot of tailings piles out there. And once you start to learn mineral associations for your area, you know, you're like, oh, what, what are the minerals associated with a copper mine? Okay. Um, you know, what are the minerals associated with lead zinc mines and you can explore that and be like oh copper mining there you know what is how is copper formed uh what is the minerals mineralization like at copper mines well going and learning that as an example your azurites malachites pyrites these are some of the types of minerals that you're going to be finding in association with a copper mining operation so when you find those old copper mines out there on public lands, man, you can go out there and generally, I mean, if it was any type of decent operation, you'll be able to see those uh, tailing piles on satellite photos, which, you know, there's a lot of videos here on the channel. If you go to the main channel page, uh, if you go to the website, you can look at those and we go in real depth about doing that level of research and I'm going to probably be uh, doing some more of that type of stuff this winter. I do have some plans on doing some more long-form videos. It's going to be more like a class, right? And I think it's going to be really good. It's going to be helpful content. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to some cool weather, you know, <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Um, we got a, we're planning a Utah trip, but, man... Uh, we're not doing a Utah trip when it's 105 out, you know, that's, uh, we did a little bit of rock hounding recently and it was 103 and smoky and we just, we were not feeling it. We, we start, we pushed, we pushed ourselves a little too far. Um, and you know, that's good to know your limits. Um, we just couldn't, couldn't hack it. And that's the way that goes. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploration of an area as well. Figuring out what some of the stuff is. Why people are digging in some places um, and uh, maybe why they shouldn't be. So uh, it should be a blast, everybody. So I'm going to keep this one kind of short this week. I appreciate you coming by, hanging out with me, you know. Um, this uh, coming week we'll have some good content up. And I hope you're staying cool, maybe getting out, doing some rock hounding. And uh, yeah. Um, oh, ooh, 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 real quick, end of the video. Check it out, right? So I've started to do some exclusive content on the website. I'm going to be doing some exclusive videos for the website that won't end up in the feed here. So be sure to be checking out the website.
uh, on the main channel page, on the main channel page, on the main page, there, there's a list of updates going. So uh, be sure to check that out. Currently rockhounding.com. And uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome stuff is coming, everybody. Thanks for being part of the channel. Catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.